myself grinning when I came unexpectedly upon a clasp of confident Gaian children whispering in Ga or Fanti, their little legs shining and shimmering like oiled eels. My breath still crowded in my throat at the sight of African soldiers, chest thrust forward, stiffened legs and behind high like peacock's tails. Their forest had lost none of their mystery and the bush villages were still enchanting. But Ghana was beginning to tug at me and make me uncomfortable, like light and ill-fitting coat. Bye-bye.